This is Twit. Well, let's take a listen and hear what no ham radio operator really wants to hear big time. So uh, if we can go ahead and uh, roll the short shots, here's a noise. Oh. have a good uh, noise floor. I always worry a little bit about uh, what type of uh, uh, radio antenna you may have. But one of the biggest uh, noise sources, of course, is thunderstorms. And this is on HF. It uh, may go up to six meters, but usually it's not going to uh, affect uh, the uh, other bands. But uh, after a major uh, thunderstorm uh, has passed, or sometimes uh, when it's approaching, You'll begin to see things on your uh, spectrum scope, and uh, those things that you spot on the spectrum scope could be lightning crashes. And if you listen carefully, oh, there was a good one. You can always tell when it's a, a nearby lightning storm because the crash may be so loud that it is going to uh, cause your AGC to quickly uh, hiccup and uh, pull down all of the noise until it comes back up. And you see a lot of those lightning crashes uh, there. Well, here is something that uh, you never want to see on a scope. And uh, that is noise that is coming uh, from, well, we'll let you listen to it. Well, I'll tell you where it's coming from. It's coming from something that has a microprocessor in it. And on high frequency, uh, sometimes those microprocessor noises can go uh, up to about a block away. But they're a nightmare if they're right there in your own shack. So no matter how great your equipment is, if you haven't got it uh, uh, plumbed properly outside, the noise from power line is going to come on in. And you all know what uh, power line uh, noise sounds like. It is just plain ugly. Yes, uh, MFJ as well as DX Engineering have a lot of filters, and some of them will help on constant power line noise, but even the best filter... Uh, is uh, getting uh, the power line noise not to uh, uh, rear its head uh, when you really need to work some uh, rare DX. And, of course, out here in Southern California, when we get a lot of fog, uh, many times we'll hear on high frequency sort of a roar. And uh, that's what happens when the insulators get wet. Now, for those of you on um, uh, JT8, uh, uh, sometimes in between some of those signal hits that we see here on the screen, you'll be able to see actually that noise building up in the background. And when we do our Coast Guard auxiliary work on MT-63, uh, you'll see that there's a lot of noise right there in the passband of what we're trying to uh, tune in. Now, you may say, well, digital signal processing uh, by uh, new ICOM uh, 9100 right here. Well, it's not new. It's actually three years old. Uh, it has DSP built in. If you have an older rig, you can add DSP to it. But um, here's what DSP does to noise. And take a listen. Then we kick in DSP. Hear that code come up? There's even more noise. Eliminated. And without DSP. So the, uh, the DSP is useful for voice, but it is not necessarily useful for the digital modes because it may grab a hold of a single tone and think that it's wanted to be eliminated. So do not use DSP, especially if you're trying to do some of the new digital uh, modes that you see here. Leave your uh, DSP turned off and uh, you'll get along just great. For those of you doing visual facsimile here in the Coast Guard Auxiliary Shack, many times we'll pull down maps, and there you see what high-frequency noise looks like. And it is not pretty, believe me. Uh, so DSP, good for voice, but not necessarily for the digital mode. Something to think about. Um, you need to track down the noise, especially if it's maybe right there at your own house. You can use something exotic like this uh, from uh, one of the manufacturers. Uh, 
And you can also use uh, other pieces of equipment, such as uh, a small Grundig radio. Make sure you're in the upper uh, sideband mode and um, begin to track down where that noise is coming from. And some of the noise sources may be in your house. So you think, well, if I shut off the circuit breakers, it's certainly going to have that noise go away. So we shut them all down. And, of course, you're going to have to reset everything when you turn them back up. And the noise is still there. Well, on this one case, we, with everything shut down, we said, well, what's, what's running on maybe a battery? So we tracked the battery, and uh, the battery was being dutifully charged by solar panels. And solar panels themselves don't give off high-frequency noise. But here it is. This was one of the battery solar chargers that does pulse checking. And if you listen carefully, you'll hear the pulsing. Tick, 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 yep. So those are intentional little perks to dislodge any uh, stuff uh, growing on the plates of the battery. But the problem is that little uh, arc that you see there at the tip top, that's going to create a lot of bit of noise. So be cautious that after you shut off your AC power that you may not have solar power completely turned off. Now, your neighbor's getting solar, or if you're getting solar, the well-planned solar installation uh, does not cause a problem. In fact, that's my next door neighbor. I do not even hear his solar control. But as a test, when they were putting it on, I have them turn it on and turn it off, listening on HF, and even with my beam aimed right to it, I did not hear a problem. Now, to detect noise, a little AM radio, or uh, if you have a handheld that tunes in uh, AM, that's the way to do it. You cannot easily detect noise in the FM mode. It's got to be AM. So most handhelds do have AM uh, reception, and that's a great way to go. Um, even though a device may be listed as part 15, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to give off a lot of noise. We saw a lot of part 15 noisemakers. Here was one in our own house. And uh, this one, uh, we, could, uh, we made sure we had it all plugged in with a grounded plug. And here was the noise that we heard coming from the washing machine. Hang on, here it comes. Yep, that uh, pulsing noise was indeed the washing machine. And uh, so I can always tell when uh, we've got the washer on. And if you look at it and listen to the noise... As you tune across the band, you're going to hear that noise, uh, unfortunately, loud and clear. Uh, there's no real cure for that. We tested with a little AM radio and found that a panel with an analog meter uh, was not a problem. We did some further testing to find out noise sources, and we found the fax machine was a real noise maker. And who would think that a fax machine would, would be a huge noise maker? But there it is. But it only made the noise when it was uh, exiting a piece of paper. So that's something uh, to think about. So when you see these reoccurring spikes on your scope, you know that it's probably microprocessor noise coming in somewhere close. And that microprocessor noise is easily picked up with a uh, simple AM or shortwave radio. Uh, we have found that LED devices uh, don't give off noise down on high frequency, but you may see when you do an LED light bulb that on VHF you gain one S unit of noise, of just background noise. You usually can't hear it, but you know that it's there, so be wary of that. And, of course, solar chargers or battery chargers that uh, you plug into the wall uh, that don't have the CE approval, they are many times noisy, and no matter how many of the little filter uh, chokes you put on there, ferrite beads, um, it, sometimes it just cannot stop the noise that uh, comes in. All right, here was the classic. Who would think that a dimmer would make noise like this? And when we turn that uh, dimmer all the way on or all the way off, then it was noise-free. Uh, I've never heard any noise uh, come out of uh, air conditioning or heating uh, controllers. This noise had a very strange sound to it. Oh, yep, it was uh, uh, Fido uh, getting the last lick. Dishwasher noise, yeah, if it's got a microprocessor that could take place. 
And simple battery chargers, the new switcher battery chargers on high frequency can sometimes generate a lot of noise. So no matter what radio you have, Kenwood, Yezu, Icom, Alinko, uh, uh, any of the uh, USA-made radios, uh, Flex, uh, uh, Ellicraft, um, they all have good noise filters, but your very best noise filter is for you to track down the noise and try and uh, get rid of it. So thank you all for tuning in. This weekend is uh, Veterans Weekend, so wear your colors, and uh, we salute all of you. And Jim, who is a veteran with Jim's Engraving, get well, Jim. We're all pulling for you.